In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the AccuWeather API. And this is what the final result will look like. In this specific example, I'm using Postman to make these API calls. But once you have everything set up and you make that actual API call, we can now see all the weather related information that's returned back to us from the API. So to start this process, the first thing we need to do is to go to the AccuWeather website. Once you're on a website, create an account. Once you've created your account, you should now see this page. If you hover over your email, you should see an option that says My Apps. Go ahead and click on that. And now you should see a button that says add a new app. Go ahead and click on this button. Once you're on this page, you just need to fill out all the basic information. So just your app name can be whatever you would like. And just make sure to select all the options that apply to the project that you're making. So just for example, it's asking you where this API call be used. Just go ahead and click on one of these options if it applies to you. And once you've filled out all your options, just click on create app. I'm not going to click on it because I already created mine. But this is what it should look like. Once you successfully create your app, you should now see it here on this page. If we click on the app, we can now see we have two different fields. One is API key and one is keys issued. Just go ahead and copy the API key because that is what we'll need later to make our API calls. Now to make our first API call, we can just click on this button that says API reference to start reading documentation. The first API call I want to show is the forecast API, which allows us to get forecast information for a specific location. So if you click on this link, the API I'm interested in is the one day of daily forecast. However, before we can make this API call, as you can see here, we need to get something called a location key. And the easiest way to do that is just by using another API call. So we go back to documentation and click on this locations API. And if we scroll down and click on this one, it says city search. This will allow us to get the location key for a specific city that we're searching for. To actually make this API call, just copy the URL here. Switch over to Postman and make sure you're making a GET request and inside of the input box, just paste the URL. Then click on a params tab if it's not already selected. And for the first query parameter, just type in API key as the actual key and then paste in the value that we copied earlier. And for the second query parameter, just type in Q and then here type in the name of the city that you want the location ID for. In this example, I'm just doing New York. Once you have those filled in, just hit send. And you should now see a response very similar to this where you see a key and then here's the location code specifically for New York City. Now go ahead and copy this key value as we will be using it in the future API calls. Now if we go back to documentation that relates to the one day daily forecast API call, we can see here that this is the URL endpoint that we need to hit and the only thing we need to replace is the location key at the very end. So if we just copy the URL here, switch over to Postman and just paste it here. Now we just need to make two additional changes. One is just to add our location key at the very end of this endpoint, so just like this. And the other change that we need to make is just to add our API key as a query parameter. So I'm just going to name this API key, and then for the value, I'm going to use the API key that I generated earlier. Once you completed both of those steps, if we now hit send, you should now see all the weather related information for the specific city that you put as part of the API call. The next API call I want to show is the 12 hour forecast, as you see here in the documentation. All the steps are going to be very similar to the previous API call, except we just need to replace the resource URL. So just copy it here and then switch back to Postman. And I already have mine set up, but the only change you need to make, just like the previous API call, is just to add the location ID as well as your API key. But once you've successfully done both of those steps, if you hit send, you should now see the 12 hour forecast for the specified city. And for the last API call, I will show you how to use the current conditions API. This will allow us to get the current conditions for a specific location. And the process will be exactly the same as before, where we just need to copy the resource URL and then just paste it here, making sure you're making a get request. And just as the previous two API calls, just make sure to paste in your location ID as well as your API key and then hit send. And in the results, we can now see the current conditions for the specified city. And that is the end of this AccuWeather API tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.